Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Since last week we unlocked a lot of middle-sized engines, I thought this week we could do an interplanetary travel. So I downloaded this little mod called Transfer Window Planner, which allows us to show us the best time, window time to get out of Kerbin and have an encounter to another planet. So here I select Duna. I have a look at what time is the best time to start, and it's about date 180. On the top left of the screen, you can see I'm at day 102. So as you guessed, we're building a rocket to go to Duna. This time will be the last rocket we build without planning, meaning we just throw things parts together and see if it gets us there or not, the Kerbal way. But I think starting next week, we'll start to get a bit more planning into and see if the Delta V is actually enough to get us there. So here we see that we have the fairing parts that we unlocked last week. Nice fairing, looks a bit cleaner now. We have our, here's our main pod. So again, we'll do a Apollo style landing. We have the pod and the landing in two different parts, ships, if you want. Okay, so here is our launch. We know we have this big engines at the bottom. Add some boosters on the side. Some electricity, some struts. Now we have struts, so our rocket won't be wobbling while we go up. And let's be sure to add a scientist in there. Okay, so now I skipped all the way to the right time to go, which is day 180 something. And off we go. So he's at a thousand speed, that's why it looks a bit fast. So nothing new so far, we're just getting a nice orbit around, I think, 80 kilometers, which is nice enough. Circularize our orbit, and then we'll start to see at what angle, ejection angle, we should plan and focus Duna and start to get, try to get our encounter. So here we are, we got an encounter pretty easily, and off we go. This is our burn to Duna about 1000 delta V burn, or 800, I think. That's good enough. Then we try to get a better encounter, get close by. And there we go, do our little correction burn of 145 meters per second to get us really close to Duna. Actually, I checked the atmosphere of Duna because I don't want to be too low. Duna has an atmosphere and if we get in too fast, too low, we're just going to burn up. And also our plan is to uh, leave the main ship into orbit and to land with the lander, Apollo style, like we did on Minmus last uh, two weeks ago or last week. Yeah. So there we go, fast forward, here we are. So we are doing a lot of science. Of course, we're lucky we have uh, Bob, Bob Kerman, who is a scientist. He can reset our science data. So I'm having a look at doing some aero braking and getting caught by Duna's orbit. And I actually realized that we don't really have enough Delta V. I mean, we would have enough Delta V, but not to get back. So I'm gonna do some science now on nearby. We did the high over Duna, now it's near Duna. And since our trajectory is going straight to Ike, we're gonna do the same as Ike, get some high above Ike and close to Ike and then try to get back to Kerbin if we have enough Delta V. So here I also realized that my ship is kind of not working the way I want. When I made, I used the fairing, I thought it would actually uh, act as a separation, but it doesn't, meaning our lander pod is attached to our main pod, meaning I cannot detach one from the other. So here we go, trying to get back to Kerbin and try to find a good way. So I have about 550 Delta V, should be enough so far. Here is Bill transferring all the science from the lander pod to the main pod. I was thinking about separating both, but then I realized the parachutes are on the lander pod, so this wouldn't be a nice landing if we didn't have the parachutes. 
And also I can separate the two stages, as I said earlier. The fairings are just fairings and they're not actually a separation stage. So here we are, fast forward, almost one orbit, and try to get a small like, inclination change to get an encounter with Kerbin because we don't have any encounter yet. So here at this stage I try to reload and see where I was last time, but I, I saved just before so it didn't help anything, so still at the same stage. Because we're going to be really short on, on the oxidizer and liquid fuel to be honest. So here I get with 150 Delta V, we get an encounter with Kerbin, have a look where that would lead us, and then try to get at about 40-50 kilometers, which would be just enough to aerobrake us and not burn us straight away. I think it's a good in-between, I think if you go lower than 40 kilometers, you're gonna just burn, and too high you're not gonna get enough aerobraking. So here we go, fast forward, try to decelerate put on the retrograde, use the rest of the fuel we have. There we go, we're now out of fuel and there is nothing left for us to do but wait. So luckily we got enough aero braking, here we go, 50 kilometers to get caught by Kerbin's orbit, but it's gonna take forever because we got a very high eccentric orbit. So here I am just orbiting about 10-20 times around Kerbin to get our periaps decreasing very slowly. So I'm gonna spare you all the orbits, but after a few orbits we got a nice landing approach. So here we are, not too fast luckily, about 1800 meters per second. Deploy the parachutes, luckily we land above water, which helps us a little bit, because I think our landing speed is gonna be pretty high. And here we go. About still 8 meters per second, 9 meters per second, that's good enough. So here we got a really decent amount of science, so let's spend the science on the next nodes. Let's go to the tech tree and see what we can unlock. So bigger solar panels of course, this is a very good branch here with all the science and solar panels and stuff. We do a one of the lander nodes and here I unlock this node because I really want the nuclear engine which is one of the best engines in vacuum. So there we go, that's all for today and next week we're gonna have a nice planned hopefully landing on another celestial body. So if you liked uh, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you and see you next week.